you know, a lot of adjusters are going to, they're going to fall behind because they mistakenly, and in some cases I've heard managers on big cats tell adjusters to do this. And I'm like, if I happen to be within earshot, I'll pull that person, that adjuster side, be like, don't you dare do that. And they'll say, listen, man, you know, I, I don't have time to help you with whatever. Just get out there and just scope and we'll just, we'll sort it out later. Right. And so then the person goes out there and they will, they'll scope and scope and scope and scope and scope. Well, my manager said, get out there and scope, you know, and then you try, then that manager like gets moved to a different storm or whatever. And then it's like, then their new manager is like, or even that same manager is like, what the hell, man, you haven't closed any claims. So let's talk about that that gap between the fun part, which is scope. I mean, let's be honest, that's the fun part of this, right? Scoping and writing that estimate and closing that file. Because I think that, that a lot of, we have a lot of trouble, and you can tell, you know, tell me if this is true or not or accurate, between that like the scoping part, if an adjuster has is doing the full file, right? Scoping part and the closing the file, like that gap between, you know, should it be the same day? Can it just wait till next week? Can I wait till the weekend? Can I do it in the middle of the night? I mean, what, what do we do? What do we tell them to help them to be more productive versus just being busy? Well, for, for here's how I think of it is what gets a, an adjuster their what, what gets their attention? And that's money. So you yeah. have that business mindset. So the longer that file sits on your desk, the more money you lose. Yeah. Yeah. You're going to forget something, right? Especially if you're using pictures or photos to, which I don't suggest ever. I wrote my scope. Of course, back in the day we had to right? and all that. Um, but, uh, I wrote, I write my scope out, but, uh, um, but yeah, pretty much it's, you have to, it's like we say, you have to be able to scope what you can write. If that, the manager is saying that, what the manager is creating is, is a problem for himself, right? Mm -hmm. And I mean, that's, it, it's not helping. So yes, I would do the same if I heard that. Um, if you're having problems, what the manager sh should say is, you're having problems, how can I help you? Let's sit down, let's go through it, okay? Here's what's the best for the customer is we may need to reassign some of these, right? Don't, don't be reactive, be proactive, right? Yeah. Um, you have to see a problem. I would absolutely respect totally an adjuster who said that to me, and it, I would not think badly of him, right? I've been behind before, and I, I was able to resolve that, right? By talking to manager, hey, this is my problem, right? It's kind of like the old saying is like, man, don't ever turn down a claim. Well, I, I told that. Total respect for adjusters call me and says, Shane, I'm like nine days out. It's like, well, they will say, like, no, man, but I appreciate it. And it's like, do you text me or email me when they're, you're available, right? So that, that philosophy, that, that saying that if you turn down, you'll never get a claim, you don't never get a claim because you don't communicate yeah. to the firm that you're ready, right? Adjusters do it all the time for me. And I'm like, okay, I'll be looking for you a new one. Thank you, right? I respect yeah. that. The objective... So, is to close claims, right? Not just get out yeah. there and scope and like. Well, that that's the mentality you should have. Is like when you get a claim, I'll say, "How can I get this resolved the fastest? You know, as fast as I can, right? Accurately. How can I get it resolved, right? Um, and all that. So, and that that comes like I want contractors there. I ask contractors oh, yeah. to be there. I want them there. This, I mean, get it resolved, right? Uh, so, uh, I mean, I, I work claims now just to keep sharp and knock off the rust, right? And stuff like that. So I say, you have a contract? Yes. What's his name and number? I'll call him. I call him and I introduce myself. I get rid of all that, like, uh, oh, man, this guy's going to be a, a jerk and all that kind of stuff. I introduce hey, man, I look forward to working with you. Can you tell me a little bit about it, right? And all that. And they'll give me a description of everything. They'll give you more than the insurance will, right? Oh, and, yeah. now you have, and now you have all these tools we didn't have. You have Google Earth and all that. I can write the estimate. I can have my GLR already written before I go out. You can't. Yep. Proactive, not reactive. Yep. So, um, so on that note is like the manager really, I, I, would, I would do the same as you. And the manager's duty is to identify, okay, there's an issue and, uh, and create a solution, right? 
Yeah. And if that means take away claims, you'll be better off if you do, right? You're thinking that it'll take away money. No, no, actually it's saving your career. So you have to be humble. Yeah. As an adjuster, you need to know more than just how to read an HO3 policy and how to sketch a three-level house in Xactimate. You also need to know how to tell hail damage from wear and tear on composition shingles. The number one resource for damage identification books, trainings, and certifications is Haig Education. Not only that, but they provide building inspection and desk adjuster trainings and certifications as well. These are the guys who make the classic Haig Damage ID books that I used for years to educate myself, my insureds, and quite a few roof sales guys on what is damage that we can pay for and everything else. Looking at you, bird poop. Get a discount on all books, tools, certifications, and other trainings with the code ADJUSTERTV at checkout at HaigEducation.com. You know what's boring? Insurance policies. You know what's not boring? More Adjuster TV vids right here.